Hello everybody, welcome to this PC Computer Guy Tech Talk. My name is Nick Ellis, I am the PC Computer Guy. You can find me on the web at www.pccomputerguy.com, phone number 317-883-PCCG, that's 7224, or 866-653-6748. We do local uh, support for the Indianapolis and surrounding areas, and um, we provide remote support for people not in those areas. What we're gonna talk about today is a good way of sharing your pictures. Um, Facebook is a convenient way to share pictures. I'm going to use this guy here as an example. Um, but you don't get the full resolution. So if you want to, if um, uh, the, Sarah wants to share pictures with her mom and the mom wants the highest quality possible of the images, Facebook reduces the quality of the images significantly. Um, so if you try to download the pictures from Facebook, you're not going to end up with very good copies of it. What they do is they try to reduce the image so that it doesn't take up as much bandwidth or space on their servers. So for example, if I save this image, here on Facebook and I just call it uh, one two three and we'll hit save here um, Now I'm gonna go and look at the picture so here we have our one two three if I double click on it notice that uh, the resolution of it right here is 960 by um, one two or seven two zero if I try to zoom in notice it's already at hundred fifty percent and things are starting to look grainy as you get closer um, so if you try to print this picture, it's not going to be one of the better prints that you get out. And in the future, you know, as monitors and stuff get bigger, if you want to project it on a big screen TV or something, it's not going to look very good. So it's always a good idea to get the best possible images of things that you really want to keep. Now, if it's something you're just looking at and you think is kind of funny or something, then you can save it. But if it's a picture of your granddaughter that you want to keep around for the next uh, 10 or 15 years, then you should definitely try to get the best quality of that. To get the best quality, you can't use Facebook. You can try to email things, but um, email has limits and uh, doesn't, um, you know, you can only send a few pictures at a time, otherwise you'd get the emails that bounce back saying you sent too much. There's a great solution for this. Something called SkyDrive, which is a product from Microsoft that you can get for free, um, seven gigs for free, and if you need more than that, then you can pay for it. SkyDrive is the equivalent of Dropbox. We tried to use Dropbox to share pictures from a trip from a mission trip that we just returned on from Guatemala, but Dropbox only allowed two gig for free and didn't do a particularly good job, in my opinion, of getting the stuff shared. So I tried to use SkyDrive, which is what I prefer to use, and it worked beautifully. So I'm going to show you how to do it. SkyDrive allows you to share the pictures and look down with the full quality uh, images if you so wish, and a lot of other options. So let's get to it. If we go to SkyDrive.com. You're going to be taken to this page where you log in. If you have a Microsoft account such as Hotmail, um, a live email account, uh, Outlook.com email address, which is different from having the Outlook program, don't get those confused, an Outlook.com email address, um, or any kind of Microsoft account. If you have a Microsoft account, you can just sign in with your username and password. If you don't have the Microsoft account, then what you need to do is go down here to the sign up and create that account. It's pretty easy to do. You can use a new Microsoft address if you want, or you can use your existing email address as well. So I've gone ahead and signed in here, and uh, you see my uh, SkyDrive right here. I really like the functionality. It's very easy. You can even drag and drop for a lot of things, which is starting to take place on Internet websites, but uh, uh, not super frequently uh, available yet. So what we can do is if I want to share new pictures, we're going to set up a new share just so that you can see how to do it. First thing I'm going to do is create a new folder. So create a folder and we'll call it test. So I've got this test folder that's now created. And I have these pictures just uh, set aside that I want to upload to the SkyDrive. Now, what I can do is just take these pictures. Say I want these, uh, these three pictures right here. I can take these and I can drag and drop them into this window. It doesn't really get much easier than that. You see? uploaded all the images they're done and in just a second here it's automatic there it goes it generated a preview so it's kind of cycling through the pictures like it does here so if I click on this album or this folder that we created you can see each of the pictures and if you click on any one of them it shows you the full screen version of it if you want to download you can download the entire full quality so if I click the download button um, for Chrome it pops up here at the bottom and then if I click this guy I end up with a full quality version of this picture you can just uh, right arrow and left arrow to go through the different pictures. And uh, it's pretty responsive, very quick, very nice to use. You get your little thumbnail so you can jump around down here as well. Um, information about the picture itself is often embedded into here. You can do this play slideshow. And what it's just going to do is rotate through the pictures. So it's a really nice way to share pictures. Also, um, if we go back to the SkyDrive, so I'm going to click um, 
this SkyDrive thing right here. What I can do as well is I can click this folder, this little checkbox right here, and I can hit sharing. And you see it send a link uh, to test email. So I can type in email addresses of people that I want to share this with. So uh, you can type in anybody's email address and they'll get a thing in their inbox that says, hey, some, such and such has shared pictures with you. Click here to view them. So they can view all of your pictures. They can download the high quality version of the pictures or just look at them. You can also post it to Facebook this way. Or I like to use the get a link and you see it says create a view only. You can do view only or view and edit. If you do view and edit, then people can tweak the pictures, possibly upload their own pictures as well so that you have a big repository of uh, the pictures. I like to do the view only. So if you did this, create a link. So I can take and copy this link and I can give it to, I can post it on Facebook. I can put it in any emails if I want. I can send it through instant messenger or Skype. Whoever has this link can view these pictures. So let's do a, a sample of this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to open a new window here and just paste that link in there as if I was a, a new person. So if somebody clicks on the link, this is what they'll see. And if they click on the picture, you notice the same thing pops up again. And also, very neatly, you can also do this folder actions. Under folder actions, download folder. And what it'll do is download all of the pictures in the folder. So there it goes in a zip file. If I click this zip file, here's all of the pictures downloaded in one shot. So it's pretty quick and easy. Just one click allowed you to download 3 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or however many pictures you have in there. And again, you're getting the high quality versions of the pictures, not the reduced quality that Facebook and a lot of sharing sites like to force you into. Notice I'm not signed in. So people that are viewing your stuff do not have to have a SkyDrive account. Dropbox it seemed like it was, I don't, it seemed like it was requiring an account in order to even view the stuff. That may or may not be the case, but I know that SkyDrive does not require this in order to um, um, get your stuff done. So this is a SkyDrive. You can share much more than just pictures, but I, most people I know are interested in pictures, but you can share documents and, and uh, um, people can work on the same files all together um, through this method as well. I'm going to show you one other little bit more advanced thing that uh, you can take if you want or just stop at this point, but it, uh, I, it makes things even easier for me as if this isn't easy, uh, easy enough. Um, what I, and by the way, just to note on the side, here's the total space that you have available. So once you use up all that space, you're going to need to start deleting certain things. So um, the, the more nifty advanced feature is, you see right down here, it says get SkyDrive app. If you click this guy right here, you can download the desktop app. What is the desktop app? Um, for Windows 7 and for Vista, what it does is put your SkyDrive right here. So if I click this guy right here, notice all of the same things that we saw. Um, if I go back to my SkyDrive here, all the things that we saw here are appearing right here. So it's just like a folder on your computer. So you don't even have to use the website if you don't want to. You do if you want to use the sharing features like uh, who gets to view it and all of that stuff. But if I wanted to add to this test folder that we just made, see there's those three pictures. If I wanted to add something to it, I'll go to this upload to Facebook and we'll just go into Thursday or something. We'll grab a picture here. And what I'll do is I'll copy it into here. And um, it'll take it about two minutes, maybe a minute, two minutes or something. And that picture will automatically appear here. I'm going to force it to do it faster and just, oh, it's actually already doing it. So it'll be up there in just a minute. So what you can do is if you want to, you can download the SkyDrive app. And if you download the SkyDrive app, then you can use it. You can copy things to your SkyDrive simply by copying it to the SkyDrive area here. If I make a new folder here, new folder, um, happy day that will end up on the SkyDrive automatically. And the cool thing is if you want to share it, your stuff among multiple computers, if I have my SkyDrive loaded on this computer and I have my SkyDrive loaded on my laptop, this SkyDrive appears. So whatever I take and put in here on my desktop will automatically be in here on my laptop and vice versa. Uh, let's see if this has uploaded yet. And there it is. There's that fourth picture. So I didn't even do it through the website. I did it directly from my folders here. So this thing could be entirely completely closed and I can still add, delete, tweak, change things. So I added this happy day folder. Let's just see if that guy is there yet. Um, let's go back to my files and there's the happy day folder. So SkyDrive, pretty neat. Hope this helps, uh, helps you share pictures in the best possible way. 
And um, if you have any questions, just uh, give us a call or contact us through our website. Again, my name is Nick Ellis, PC Computer Guy, 883-7224. That's 317-883-PCCG, www.pccomputerguy.com. And until next time, have fun.